Recently it was noticed that the North Pole has drifted from its real position and ever since then the global media are onto it and nothing changes when it comes to the scientist so what is it causing the drift and why is it a concern and if it's a concern what are the consequences hello everyone welcome to the season 2 of the theory show yes we are back to keep you informed and updated so without further delay let's dig <laughs> What is magnetic north and why do we call it magnetic north it turns out to be that our earth has two north pole one is geographical north and south and other is magnetic north and south the geographical north and south are the axis on which the earth rotates and the magnetic north is caused by the polarization of the molten earth core when you look at your pocket compass the needle points towards magnetic north so by now you probably be thinking well we all know this what's the issue then the problem is that ever since the entity the poles have been drifting Why this has become alarming now is because of the rate at which the poles have been drifting. On last Monday it was noted that our north pole has drifted far more than it should as per the calculation. The rate of drift has changed from 14 to 15 km per year to 55 km per year. So by now our north pole has crossed Canadian Arctic and is headed towards Russia. The earth's magnetic behavior is far more complex than the simple bar magnet. and its origin is said to be 2000 km below the surface at the outer core of the earth so on monday our scientist had to update the wmm that is world magnetic model and the drift was found to be few years ahead of the prediction so why is it moving faster well this is not very clear because the magnetic nature of the earth is due to the turbulence and spin in the earth core and studying the earth core is only made possible by the sophisticated computers and predictions the reason being it's not so easy to study the phenomena happening at such a high temperature with all the available instruments so what are the consequences the consequences are pretty serious because the entire military depends on the magnetic field and the aviation industry is dependent on the magnetic field the name of the runways are based on the direction they point on the compass for example a runway 09r means it's pointing at 09 degree on the compass and r is just for right and left in case the airport has parallel runways many boats depend on the earth magnetic field the sea navigators the rescue team the forest department etc all depend on the magnetic field and they all are affected at fairbanks airport alaska a runway had to be renamed from 1l19r to 2l20r in 2009 and these all are just due to the drift in the magnetic pole so in general the earth's magnetic field is getting weaker and weaker and eventually it would flip just like a flip of a bar magnet changing the polarity of the poles It has happened many times in the earth past but not in last 780000 years. So whenever it happens it won't be like a flip of a coin but it will be very gradual giving us enough time to develop new technology. So how will it happen is not a major question. When will it happen is a major one and the other concern is south pole is not moving at the same pace. But in all this scenario we must never fail to find positivity. And in this case we still have GPS and GPS is not affected by the magnetic field because it is satellite based. So that's all for the today's episode. We bring you one informative episode every week and it's your support which keeps us going. So do not forget to give us a big thumbs up and if you like our content do not forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon so that we can keep you up to date. Hope to see you in the next episode till then take care goodbye see you.